Well, hello everybody. I'm Huell Hauser. It's a beautiful morning in Southern California. Specifically, we're in Pasadena. More specifically than that, we are in Old Pasadena. And I keep wanting to say Old Town Pasadena, but really it's Old Pasadena. Here to give us a tour, introduce yourself to everybody, Robert. Yo, my name is Robert Montano, and I work for the City's Redevelopment Agency. Okay, now we are standing right in the heart of Old Pasadena. Now, for those people who don't know about Old Pasadena, explain what Old Pasadena is. We'll start off with what Old Pasadena was. Sure, sure. Old Pasadena was the original downtown hub for the city. When the city was founded in the late 1800s, this was the economic core for the city. There was merchants, businesses, general stores, um, blacksmiths, you name it. This is, this is where everything occurred. And as the city and time went on, like all great American downtowns, the, city, the downtown went into decline. And by the 60s and the early 70s, much of old Pasadena had become boarded up, kind of derelict buildings. And we're in need of a major investment and repair, actually. I've seen pictures. You've provided us with pictures of what it looked like in the 60s and 70s. It was kind of a mishmash. There were a lot of buildings that, boy, they were showing their age. They weren't really up to speed. They were, it, it was in decline. Absolutely. All of these buildings built in the late 1800s were, by the 1950s and 60s, in a serious state of disrepair. Some of them had already fallen. Um, you'll see some photographs in some areas where the buildings, all that were left were kind of just these vertical piers. The windows uh -huh. were out. Some of them were vacant. Some of them were lived in by artists. There were bars everywhere. There were homelesses and squatters in some of the other buildings. So, in other words, by the 60s and 70s, old Pasadena had seen better days. Oh. It was definitely in decline. Absolutely, absolutely. And the city's redevelopment agency at first was taking the classic approach that was being used by a lot of redevelopment agencies back in the 60s and 70s of just tearing the old stuff down and putting new stuff up. Absolutely. The idea was out with the old and in with the new and creating these Pasadena corporate centers and creating these mega blocks where the offices and the businesses were really separate from the street and the activities that were on the street. Employees had no idea what was occurring down on the street level. There was no activity on the street level, and everything was being done on the internal of the buildings. They built a lot of these big block buildings in the 60s and 70s, and then something very exciting and creative happened. Absolutely. A number of property owners decided, hey, th we've got the most unique district of historic buildings in most much of Southern California. Instead of tearing everything down, let's start to reinvest in our buildings, rehabilitate the buildings, and they encourage, the property owners encouraged the city of Pasadena, and we created a, a plan for Old Pasadena to really rehabilitate what exists and create this pedestrian, walkable downtown. Mm -hmm. So you <laughs> actually took a lot of these old buildings that were slated for demolition and started getting creative with them, restoring them, renovating them, bringing them back to life, to their former glory. Uh, exactly. The property owners had a vision. They encouraged the city. We agreed with it. And what you see now is the fruits of all of that labor. Right, let's talk about this, because now this is a new part of town that's been new twice, hasn't it? Two redevelopment projects on the same property. All right, let's talk about the first redevelopment project, which happened back in... The early 80s was uh, we built Plaza Pasadena. And here, you know, Garfield came all the way through as a normal street. We had historic buildings, and it, this was... Probably, you know, right when we decided we were thinking of tearing everything down, uh -huh. we tore down a couple of just great buildings. But it was a covered kind of a... Well, we, and we built an interior or your, or your, you know, conventional regional mall in the middle of our downtown. That was in the 80s. That was in the 80s, and there was a big glass atrium here. But where is the glass atrium today? Everything was torn down to create Paseo, Colorado, which is this open-air... Um, Read a mall with apartments on uh, apartment living all above. Okay, so you got apartment living up here. Yes. You got stores down here, and you've opened the whole thing up. So this is the second way of dealing with redevelopment. You did it one way in the 80s, 
you've come back now and done it another way. Well, we'd like to think we corrected our error <laughs> that we had the first time around and created this big paseo and this big plot, uh, public space. And we've re we reconnected the visual connection between the Civic Auditorium, the There's Library, the beautiful City Hall. the Civic Auditorium, and then you got the City Hall, Absolutely. and then you've got this new vibrant area here in the middle, so you really have connected the old and the new. Yes. In kind of a seamless transition. Well, that's the exactly the same thing. It's all seamless. It's all adjacent. So you can walk from Old Pasadena to Paseo, Colorado, and through the rest of our downtown to the other districts, Playhouse District, South Lake District. Wow. Yeah. You've done it right. It's all right now, isn't it? Well, we'd like to think so. We've got uh, a few things that we're working on to really take us to the next next stage where we're studying the feasibility of a streetcar that will go through circulate through our downtown. We're implementing a way, a pedestrian wayfinding program so you'll know how close everything is. Wow. To make it all much more visitor friendly than we've been in the past. Well, congratulations. You've done it right. Thank you. Uh, this has got to be a model. Let's just walk a little bit further down here because the energy is beginning to build. This is another one of these areas that I bet at night and on the weekends it's just packed over here. Oh, you know, it's great. We do summer summer swing series. People are dancing here in the public courtyard. Um, Look, here's more of this. Is this housing or a housing hotel? Housing. That's all housing. Oh, wow. What a night. Nice, boy, when you live here, you're living right in the middle of energy going well, on. Well, you know, the great here. thing is it's on top, it's apartments. We've got retail. On the ground floor over on that corner, there's a grocery store, Gelson's. Yeah. So there's a whole lot of activity here, a lot of living amenities that, that uh, you can take advantage of. Boy, it's nice looking down here at the old auditorium, but it's nice looking down here. What's that building way off in the distance? That's our public library. Well, one of our public libraries. That's our main public library. So you've really connected it all. Yeah, it was part of a formal plan that everything was created on an axis. And well, we returned that access. I've been coming to Pasadena for years. I knew about old Pasadena, but I didn't really know about old Pasadena, and I certainly didn't know the history behind this. Boy, this is all wonderful. Thank you for the tour. Thank you. I'll be back, and I think a lot of our viewers will be here to see this for themselves because it really does make an impression. This is a livable city. It has a good... It's a welcoming kind of a feel well, here. That's really what we want to create is a walkable, livable city where people can live, they can work, they can play. Everything can occur in one place in, in, in many different forms. Well, we haven't seen the whole city, but we've seen a good chunk of it. We've had a wonderful day here. Pasadena, one of the best examples of one of California's communities. They have done it right here in Pasadena.